North Korea isn't the only country vying for nuclear capabilities as a means of power. There are many different tools used to prevent other countries from using nuclear weapons against the U.S. And one of them is here in Washington. The U.S. Navy has a special weapon in its arsenal to quietly assert its authority. They are the titans of the U.S. Navy submarine fleet. Our mission prevents coercion by threat of nuclear attack. 560 feet of pure deterrence. This is an Ohio-class sub nicknamed a Trident for its armament of Trident ballistic missiles, each carrying enough nuclear warheads to give an enemy pause. The ultimate weapon and ultimate peacekeeper residing in your backyard since the early 1980s. Banger Sub Base isn't exactly a secret, yet they don't exactly leave out the welcome mat either. Security here is tight. 7,700 acres of Hood Canal, home to 10 Ohio-class subs and 10,000 active duty, civilian, or contract personnel. Unless you work on base, this is not a view many of us get. These are fair water plans, so it's one means that we have for controlling going up and down on the ship. It's not until you're down on the docks, up close and personal, that you realize just how big this boat is. To put it in perspective, if you put two football fields end to end, it would measure just shy of the 87 yard line on the second field. If you stood it on end, it would almost be as tall as the Space Needle. And it's 50 feet longer than the Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyers based in nearby Everett. Unlike this ship, where its mere presence can make an impression, a sub's ability to slide beneath the surface with 20 nuclear warheads makes it downright scary. But before sailors ever step foot on board, they start here at the Trident training facility. Grab all tools and get on station. Grab all tools and get on station, all right? Grab all tools and get on station. <clears throat> this particular trainer, they train A school, which is a, essentially an initial entry school for the, the sailors that are coming in. So there's a lot of classes they'll teach that particular thing, like just from, from the ground up. Understand now! This is the torpedo tube lab. It's essentially a mock-up of half a torpedo room. It's one of three trainers we were given access to. There are more than 50 here, replicating every single function on the subs in a classroom environment. 14 member, continue. Continue on, <coughs> grounded. It's a calculated conversation. Half team member. As a team leader follows the script to make sure it's literally by the book. Drain set, drain set, mark. When it comes to launching a 3,700 pound Mark 48 acoustic homing torpedo. Sensor set. With a 650 pound high explosive warhead. No. There's no room for error. So she's done still the pivotry. There are typically two four hour sessions a day with 40 hours of total training before they're ready for the real thing. From torpedoes to transportation, our next stop is the bridge. It is a giant simulator with a 360 degree view, so realistic, after a few minutes, you'll start to sway. Bridge contact manager, I wait. Here they learn above water navigation both into and out of port, watching for boat traffic or any other hazards, because slowing down 33 million pounds doesn't happen quickly. Different programs prepare them for any port in the Pacific, so wherever they surface, they'll already have working knowledge of the landscape. We're gonna do a series of up and down angles. This is affectionately called the dive and drive. This is where sailors learn to drive while submerged and run through a series of steep angle maneuvers. Once we stabilize at 200 feet, we're going to achieve a 20 degree down angle. We're going to go back down to 600 feet. There are two main reasons for this exercise, not just for safety, but for silence underwater. If you're moving around and, and something falls and hits the ground, that, that makes noise and that gets put out in the ocean, right? So we want to make sure everything is, is stowed correctly. Make it up 200 feet using a 200 degree up angle. Every order given here in the trainer is exactly what you would hear on a sub. 250. In a little more than one minute, the sub has ascended 400 feet. 600 feet. Then it's back down to 600. Once we get back down to 600 feet, we're going to simulate uh, a situation in which we'd operate the emergency blow system. 600 feet to the surface in one minute flat. Emergency port, emergency port, flooding, flooding in danger. Emergency blow. As the crew leans forward to compensate for the severe up angle. Oh, Topside footage is hard to come by, but you get the idea from the 1990 movie, The Hunt for Red October. All this training prepares these men and women for the real thing life aboard a Trident submarine. About 160 of America's finest will spend three and a half months on each deployment. They'll have a crew on the submarine out at sea while that other crew 
is here training and, and getting ready to get certified to take the boat back to ensure that the boat is out at sea as much as possible. Constant training to maintain constant readiness on board one of the most revered and powerful weapons on the planet. So the blue crew that we talked with of the Kentucky was actually just getting ready to head out uh, when we shot all this video. They are still out right now and they've got a couple weeks so they haven't had a chance yet and no communication with them yet. So I've, I've been having conversations with um, some of their spouses and letting them know, asking them questions and mm. they've been very good about it. So it's, it's been a lot of fun but there's so much that goes on. I learned so much doing this. It was amazing. Wow. Cool. I, I was very impressed with the size of that torpedo. Is it uh, controllable? I mean, can they control the torpedo once it leaves the ship? Yeah, you know, they don't like to give out too many details, but there is a lot out that they're that they're willing to share. And um, specifically, if, if you go and look at the, uh, the infographic that we put together, and it's online right now, they can guide those out to, I believe it's five miles. That's official. That's the official that mm -hmm. they can guide them out to, and they didn't want to get, but there's a, that, a lot more information on the torpedoes, the sub itself, uh, all the details online right now. And then, of course, tomorrow, uh, this was the part about the training to get you on board. Tomorrow, we're actually going to go uh, on board the Kentucky just as they were getting ready to put out uh, for this latest mission. Uh, we'll talk with some of the people on board, what it's like there, and give you kind of just, just really a taste of what it's like. Wow. Look forward to tomorrow. Thanks. Greg, nice job. Thank you.